Ooh, a pretty shiny package. Hey y'all, Pomeranian Prince here. I wanted to make a tablet review video, and I feel this is especially appropriate considering that I have been using this tablet for a while. This is a review of the Hueon and Spiroid Dial, otherwise known as the Hueon Q20SM. Full disclosure, I was not sponsored by Hueon to review this tablet. I did pay out of pocket for it, and all opinions expressed here are purely my own. Aside from the tablet, you also have the pen, the pen mount, wireless adapter, the USB adapter, and adapters for your mobile devices. One thing I like about the pen mount is that not only can you position your pen in different ways, but there are also extra nibs inside. This is useful if you're someone who's prone to wearing them down. The tablet itself feels lightweight, but the material proves otherwise. It's the kind of tablet that can take some licks, although I wouldn't advise taking a hammer to it. The main selling point for this tablet was the fact that you could quite literally connect it wirelessly. I'm someone who's trying to be more mindful about the kind of wires they have around my computer, and well, let's just say less is more. When I found out that this tablet offers a wireless option, I was ecstatic. Another thing I love is the dial. I frequently use it as a way to help me easily zoom in and out of the pictures that I am drawing slash editing. You can also set three commands onto the dial itself. There are also six keys that you can set to shortcuts. One of the biggest problems I run into as a left-handed artist is accidentally pressing on the buttons. However, this isn't a concern with this tablet. You are able to calibrate it for left-handedness with no hassle. However, to say that this tablet is perfect is an understatement. There's really one major problem I have with this tablet, and it is the size. If you're someone like me who drew on smaller tablets, you're gonna run into a learning curve. Another problem is the fact that working wirelessly doesn't last forever. It only lasts about 20 hours and you do need to recharge it with a normal adapter. It is rather nitpicky, but it does become quite the inconvenience, especially when you're in the middle of drawing and your tablet dies. Another problem I have with this tablet is whenever I start drawing, sometimes the line will end up glitching out and create this weird straight line. It's enough for me to notice it, but I haven't been able to fix it. No amount of tablet driver updates have been able to fix this. If there's someone who knows how, please let me know. And another problem I've run into when working with this tablet are booting issues. When I was done using this tablet or it ended up dying, I would deal with this issue of the tablet not booting up. After tinkering with the driver files, I honestly thought that the tablet was broken, but as it turns out, a simple reboot on my computer ended up fixing it. I haven't found anyone talking about that problem, but that's how you fix it. Overall, I love this tablet and I don't think I'll find myself replacing it anytime soon. It's a very sturdy tablet to draw on. The installation was easy and the dial has been a lifesaver for my art. However, technical problems, a really big screen size, and a pretty steep price tag is bound to deter some people away. If none of those things are a problem for you, I recommend this tablet.
Thank you.